I thought, yeah, right at the beginning, our first lesson, we really focused on engineers just keep asking questions. And then by the end of the, like, later on in lessons, you could, you could tell that a lot of them people would start raising their hands and have questions to, to ask. And the questions did improve in quality, you could say. So instead of like, oh, what's your favorite color? You know, it'd be like, oh, well, why are gamma rays dangerous or something? So I thought that the persistence question-wise worked. So. I'm really glad I did it. It's definitely a great life experience that I'll carry with me forever. Um, not just through the lessons themselves, which in themselves are great. You know, it was awesome to be in front of these people that I never met before and to teach them and try to convey what can be very complex topics on a elementary level, which is in itself a useful um, skill set for the um, business world and specifically engineering world. Um, but also the collaborating with a partner and with other people in the class to get ideas and optimize our lessons. There was a lot of you know, interaction between our classmates and definitely my partner. Practicing that is very useful, I think, to you know, make sure that you're organizing yourselves correctly and you know who's doing what and who's responsible for what and you're networking correctly so that the job gets done in the end and you put together a good lesson for the kids. And so to be able to practice that was very valuable. Well, I uh, gained a bit of a better understanding about nanotechnology, uh, which was exciting because I know it's a new and exciting field, uh, and my understanding of it was fairly limited. Uh, but most importantly, it was the relating of ideas to the second grade level. Uh, I was learning to communicate on a basic level without you know, being condescending or anything like that. Um, taking things that are advanced for me and trying to relate them to someone 10 years younger than me uh, was probably what I'm taking most out of that was that simplification of ideas and, and how to properly communicate it. Um, overall I liked the program for the most part. It was really fun. I thought it taught you a lot of you know people's skills in terms of speaking with people and also that you had to really simplify things and taught you to be a lot more clear about um, speaking about different things but it was really I don't know satisfying to work with kids on that level. Whenever you're speaking with kids and just people in general, it's really important to be very clear about what you're talking about and really think about how to communicate with people. And I thought that was probably one of the most valuable things I learned was how to clearly talk with people and just emphasize what you're trying to say and communicate. I think you can really tell just based off the reactions. And I think the most important thing to do is just on hands-on demonstrations because you know just talking about something really doesn't, I think, grasp their attention as much as if they not only physically see something, but if they do it themselves. So it's, I think it's really important to have activities where you really have them being interactive with what they're learning about. Overall, I think it's a really great program, mostly because I th it's just, it really teaches you how to communicate with people. And that's something that I don't, isn't necessarily taught in most engineering classes. You know, you're taught the theory, you're taught how to do stuff, but being able to communicate with people and talk and clearly, you know, necessarily what you're talking about is really important. And I almost think this class should be required just based off of what you're forced to do socially, which isn't emphasized at all in any other engineering class. Uh, there were a couple of instances where kids uh, asked questions towards the end of the lesson that were actually the topic of our next lesson, uh, which was really exciting. Uh, we did a, a lesson of, on uh, atomic force microscopes, um, and towards the end of the lesson, one of the students says, well, now that we see them, like, like how, do they, how do they move things on the nano level? I was like, well, that's lesson three, come back next week. Um, so that was exciting that they were kind of taking the concepts that we were talking about and then looking ahead to what ended up being the next week. Um, and then some of our recap sessions at the end of the lessons, um, they were able to uh, relate things back in their own words that were kind of a little different than we had explained them, uh, but were still accurate. Um, so that was, that was pretty exciting for us. Uh, learned a lot about working with kids and big groups of people and especially people whose attention you don't always have because normally, like when we do group projects or anything right now, like it's with people who are all like either in your major and they all know what you're doing and they understand everything. So, I mean, it's it's been interesting and also preparing complicated material um, in a very easy format for a large audience of people to understand has been has been challenging. But like it's taught, it's kind of taught you to teach, like to think in a different dimension than I normally would have. I learned most importantly. Communication is key. Fewer words is better. I learned um, how to work to actually develop a lesson. You know, it's not being on the other end of the receiving, like learning it all. It's about teaching it. And so, how do you 
get a message across as concisely and as simply as possible to kids uh, and get them excited about it. So I learned about communicating things to them, about classroom management uh, was a big challenge, you know, these kids like running around. So um, I'd say communication and classroom management were the two biggest things. Uh, at first I was a little hesitant. I didn't know how it was going to be like teaching students, making lesson plans. I've never really done something like this before, but it was really a great experience overall. Um, learned a lot about myself, about working in teams, but also about how to teach kids in, in this type of situation that I haven't really learned much about science and um, don't really know what engineering is. So overall it was a great experience. I'm very glad that I uh, participated.